Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to day five of these Facebook Live videos that I'm doing about uh, doing around the reset. And um, today we are talking about the systems of this world. And this is a really um, important part of understanding systems and how they work and all of that kind of stuff because um, identifying the counterfeit um, is absolutely necessary as you're navigating through which one of these systems you're hooked up to and which one you're actually operating in. And so I wanted to point out just a few of these um, very common systems of this world that we can sometimes get hooked up to. So um, in the in the reset package itself in the video video accompanied with this specific section and the um, part in the ebook where I talk about this, I talk a lot about uh, disinformation and misinformation and how this is used widely in all areas of our lives and how this really uh, impacts what we perceive to be truth and what we perceive to be true. And we make decisions sometimes based off of things that we believe to be true, but those are actually false falsehoods. They're uh, complete falsities. In fact, a lot of the times they're just straight lies. And so when we make decisions, you know, especially crit critical ones, crucial ones, very large decisions off of that disinformation or misinformation, it can have devastating effects and so really understanding the disinformation and misinformation systems that are being employed against us in all different areas of our life and really making sure that we're hooked up to the system of truth and that we're walking in the way and that we can um, recognize these things when they come. So that being said, I, I speak more about that one in the reset, um, the package itself, so I want to kind of move on to distraction. Distraction is another one that is extremely common and what's interesting is that uh, if you'll remember me saying at the beginning of these videos that I started to have dreams about these systems and that's really how I um, got interested in in meditating on what these mean and pursuing the depths of them a little further and um, so distraction what I found when I was um, looking about this this system is the story about Mary and Martha. You know that it says Martha was distracted with much serving. And if you look into the Greek of those words that are being used there, it actually is a very passive verb and it just means to gently draw away from. And this is really what distractions or the system of distraction will do to us. In fact, Mary and Martha were both in the room with Jesus and yet Mary was just sitting at his feet. She was uh, just soaking up whatever she could and yet Martha it says was distracted with much serving and we think a lot of the times about serving especially about serving the Lord that this is an amazing thing this is such a blessing and an honor to be able to do that and yet the Bible refers to this as distraction and again, this word is very passive. It just means to gently draw away from. And this is oftentimes what happens to us, isn't it? Where we start off on the right track, but then something happens where we just slowly get away from our target or intended goal, our targeted thing that we were trying to reach. We just slowly got drawn away from it. So that's another system that we need to be uh, mindful of and intentional with whenever we're setting out to do something. Another system that's very common, especially um, when we're talking about the systems of this world, is frustration. And the closest word that's used um, in the Bible to this is affliction or tribulation. And uh, these are all the opposite of peace. And so whenever you find no peace, of course, that that can be a very quick red flag that there is something else going on, that there's a counterfeit system operating in place, although um, I think it's very important to know the difference between true peace and passivity or complacency. Those things can kind of sneak up on us and we can, we just start getting um, used to where we're sitting and I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Um, one of the most common things that I saw with this system was that people, because it's in the word and especially because Jesus says, 
in this world, you will have trials and tribulation. You know, you will have them. And so because he said that, I feel like a lot of people um, expect them to come and then just believe that God sent them. And so then they don't do anything about that affliction, about that trial or tribulation that they're facing, which leads to them being in this system of frustration because it seems like nothing works. It seems like nothing's moving that, you know, they've just kind of stuck in this place. And even worse still is that they can believe that God wants them to be in that place or he intended this and that when he's done with, you know, this trial and, a tri and tribulation that you're stuck in, it'll just pass from you. And a lot of these, again, go into disinformation and misinformation systems that I spoke about in the beginning of this video, where we just have these wrong ways of thinking, false beliefs, and we just get caught up into these systems where it starts to find like there's no way out. We just feel like we're just continuing to do the same thing over and over again. So um, I, I want to um, tell you that on Monday, which is the 20th, is the official launch of the reset um, so on Monday that, that on that Monday, I'm going to do another Facebook live where I'm going to be talking about a different system, which I'll announce tomorrow. But on Monday's video, I'm going to talk more about the systems of this world and various, um, ways that we can really start to see a clearer picture tomorrow. My, my Facebook live is going to be super important in terms of all of these, uh, videos kind of knitting everything together. So if you can't turn, tune in live try to catch the replay because it's it's going to be critical for understanding these systems and how they all work together. The, the other thing that I want to talk about in terms of systems of this world is the feeling of being stuck or tied into a place where you cannot move. There just seems like nothing moves no matter what you do. And again, remember that all of these systems of the world are counterfeits to the actual thing. And so um, when you feel stuck or tied down or you just feel like you, you cannot move anywhere, that is a counterfeit to the unmoved principle which we find throughout scriptures. <clears throat> you know, you will be, you'll be unmoved in all of your ways. Paul says that, that all of these things were happening to him, but yet none of them moved him. So, so it's, an, it's a counterfeit, this feeling of being stuck or tied in a place. And the worst, you can get deeper and deeper into these systems, which again, I, I talk more about um, in the actual reset. I, I've mentioned it a little bit when I spoke about the systems of authority and influence, which is that the longer you operate in a system, the more authority and influence you will have in that system. The opposite is also true. So the longer that you are operating in a counterfeit system, the more, uh, the further down you will go in that system and the more false beliefs, the more misinformation and disinformation you'll actually start to believe and you'll base your decisions off of that misinformation and, uh, and disinformation, which leads you deeper into other systems, right? So the worst of this system, when you feel tied and stuck, which is the counterfeit system to being unmoved, is that you'll believe actually that you cannot change things, that things cannot change for you, that it's possible for everybody else, but it just isn't for you. In fact, sometimes people will even believe that this is just the life that they were created to live, meaning that there was a divine will for you to just be in this place of lack, to be in this place of barrenness, or be in this place of sorrow. It seems that wherever you go, just things always seem to fall apart. Sorrow always follows you. Tears always come to you. You know, you're always angry. You're always depressed. Whatever the situation is for you, and people actually start believing that it's the divine will of the Lord to have you be in this position, which is completely false. And again, that goes to speaking to the disinformation and the misinformation systems that are out there that we can get so tied into that we just believe that this is how it is. And especially when we look generationally, if you have only seen poverty, if you had only seen lack, if you had only known and seen abuse, you believe, you begin to be believe that this is uh, just something that can't be avoided, you know, in your life, that this is just something that you're going to have to learn how to deal with it. You're just always going to have to uh, put up with it and manage it to the best of your ability, but you'll never be free, completely free from that system. And um, one other thing that I want to point out quickly, too, as um, 
as we're talking about these counterfeit systems, the systems of this world, um, you know, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And so if you feel bound in a certain area, if you feel as though um, nothing, none of your efforts are working, if you feel dissatisfied in your life, that's a sure sign that the spirit of the Lord is not in that area. And so there is not freedom in that area. And when we invite him into those places, ask him to open up our eyes, ask for the salve that's put on our eyes so that we could see, as it says in Revelations, we can start to have a better perspective of what's actually happening. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that and what's actually happening and how to hook up with that system on Monday when I do the actual, the official launch of the, the reset, um, Monday the 20th. Um, but yeah, so I hope that this kind of helps give you some um, idea about the systems of this world, the things that are out there operating, the fact that you can get just gently drawn into another system. It doesn't have to necessarily be like some big event, some traumatic thing or some, you know, d final decision point where, where you decide to be hooked up to another system. Again, it's a passive verb. It means to gently draw away from and this is often what happens, and then we're, we f finally find ourselves stuck or tied up into one of these false systems, one of the systems of this world, and it can seem like we can't get free. So I hope this video has helped you kind of understand that a little bit more, maybe even highlight some areas in your own life where you do need to get free. If you want to pre-order the reset, it's on sale until Monday. Uh, I put the link in this video. I remembered to do it today, too, so you can get that right away if you want to. Otherwise, I will be um, back tomorrow morning at 9. My video is going to be a little bit longer tomorrow because there's. Um, I want to kind of explain the ways that I've been having the dreams, the ways in w which the dreams come to me about these systems and help tie all of these systems together so that you have a better understanding of how exactly they operate, what they would look like, why these are important to understand and to know which ones you're partnering with uh, as you go about your day for sure, but also as you're making important decisions, as you kind of come to these crossroads in your lives that you are, are using wisdom and the, uh, really hooked up with the mind of Christ to, um, to make those decisions so that you end up in the perfect will of the Lord, okay? And I'm going to talk about all of that tomorrow, and then again on Monday morning, I'm going to be back at 9 a.m., to do another live for the official launch of the reset. So if you want to um, pre-order that, the sale on that is still available. It will end at 11.59 on Sunday night, and then it'll go to full price, which is $25, and right now it's 19. So if you want to check that out, the link is there. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Again, I'll be here at nine. The video will be a little will be a little bit longer tomorrow so that I can kind of explain more about the dreams as well as talking about the system of value. Tomorrow's a super important day. The system of value is a really, really important one to understand um, and it'll kind of ma maybe bring some clarity to you as well, what system you're hooked up with in terms of value. Okay, so I will see everybody tomorrow at 9 a.m. Have a great day.